balls eventually played on. Dangerous That's corners. Headed away. It's going to fall to O'Donovan. O'Donovan with a left footed shot. It wasn't far away. And uh, the ball was out for another Derry City goal kick. Not a bad effort in the end up. Sh Not bad. It was just, just wide of the upright, yeah. Yeah. Just see from the replay. Well, Tundi Owalabi has gone down. Long ball forward. Lloyd Murphy. Well, oh, Murphy with his first touch of the game. Oh, and he just put it wide, but it was a mistake in the Derry defence. And it allowed Murphy in behind it. I think it was Mark Conley who must yeah. judge the clearance, Sean. To be fair, it's not like it's not like Mark, you know, to be honest, but uh, it was just a wee bit short. Um, and then he was yeah. on to it. It was just a soft header, but Murphy could do nothing it's about just it. An it was the best opportunity. Of even. Tidiness, just kind of creeping in a bit. Walker, that's a silly foul to give away by Graydon. I don't know why Graydon's throwing his arms in the air, Sean, because no, that, that's just silly. Yeah, clear foul, as you know. And it's, you know, the things like that are just going to frustrate the crowd. The crowd will be on, the, on his back, yeah. but not just his back, the rest of the team. And it, it falters through, it does falter through. You've been in that situation, yeah. you know. He's, he's done the hard, but he's ran yeah. 20 yards to get himself behind the ball. And, uh, you know, Sadi was just closing the foot down as well. And then Murphy, and behind Diallo, gets his shot away. Oh, off the upright. And Healy. Oh, sorry, it's Kustovic who shifts, shifts onto his right foot, gets his shot away, that's, but that's you it. can hear now, Sean. Yeah, they're growing in confidence. These yeah. silly things like that, the wee errors like that, they're, you know, they're giving they're, they're giving Cork incentive. And There's dissent, just, you know, you can sort of feel it from the crowd even yep. in front of us. But Derry City certainly loving dangerously. If you're a Cork City fan, you must be enjoying this at the moment because uh, they're Born. certainly in the ascendancy. Does well to keep possession, but it's given away cheaply by Matt Healy. And Adam O'Reilly finds Brandon Kavna. Kavna slips it under the path of Jamie McGonigal. McGonigal gets his shot away, but it's wide of the upright. That's probably one of Derry's better opportunities shown so it's far. It's definitely been a better, the best opportunity in the last 15, 20 minutes. You know, I just, and I think it's comes from staying on the ball. Just stay on it. You know, we have to go back, go back, go across. You know, don't force things. and. They'll grow under the game. I don't think either Cork player is 10 yards away from him, but unperturbed. The big Gallia man will take it anyway as Adam O'Reilly squeezes him between two Cork players and finds Ryan Graydon over on this left hand side. Graydon continues his run on his right foot, shifts on to his left, gets his cross on. Brandon Kavner, probably one of the smallest men on the park, yeah, can't yeah, quite yeah. rise again, but he's held off the attention of John O'Donovan. And Kavanagh loves it back. And Jamie McGonigal with yeah. the header. And Jamie McGonigal breaks the deadlock in the 46th minute, the first minute of additional time. Yeah. The Dungiven man breaking his duck, but also breaking Cork Hearts in front of Block A as he opens the scoring here at the Brandywell. Derry City won, Cork City nil. Wow, I, didn't, I just didn't see that coming, to be honest, but. I'm delighted for Jamie. Great ball by, by Brendan. He never gave up on it. He, he out muscled. I'm not too sure who it was. And he's, he's put a good delivery in. And, and, and it's great. It's been a great glance on header. Great finish. He just Jamie. got up behind Gilchrist, I think it was. And yeah. That um, Cork will be kicking themselves, to be honest, because they've probably been the better side in the half. But they're going in, you know, 1 0 up. And that's all that matters, to be honest. But Rory will be, Rory will be delighted with that. Coleman finds O'Donovan. Donovan with the ball forward. I think Bolger should be offside, but he's sprung the offside off, trap. He's, uh, he's slipped it in behind. Oh. oh, and it's just wide of the upright. Liam Buckley puts his head under his hands. I thought that maybe he was two or three yards off, Sean, but he managed he to stay offside. Off, but it, it, at that, it was a 2v2, and Shane's must have hit her. Um, I would like to see it again, but he's, oh, he's took a heavy touch as well. You know, he's, well, he's, 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 he's Murphy. an awful chance to miss there. He had a heavy touch as well, and he's. he's He's definitely offside. There. <laughs> He's about five yards offside there, but but it's been much better. Clever ball on the O'Reilly. Ryan Graydon at the back Her stick. It's fallen to Jordan oh, McAnef. Oh, a great save done from Corcoran on the end up. McAnef certainly got the laces behind that one, but fortunate. The referee's way of play on is O'Reilly goes down under the challenge of Kustovic. Sure. Boyce yeah. oh, continues his run, just couldn't quite find Brant and Kavanagh, but Kavanagh has done well. Robs the ball off Honahan, slips it under McGonigal. McGonigal on his right foot, gets oh. his shot away. But it's wide and it's above the upright and the crossbar. But again, another opportunity for Derry. 
And Kostovic getting booked. I think it was for that infringement, Sean. Just, yeah, it's just uh, before. Yeah. Diallo back to McJanet. Oh, clever ball from McJanet. Oh, he's being dirty. He put the afterburners on. Dirty continues his run. Dirty. And behind the back four. Slips it under the path. Oh, yes. Get Tiernan McKinty. And the young substitution of Sean was singing his praises Very just good. moments ago. Tiernan McGinty gets the second game of the goal to extend Derry's lead to Derry City 2, Cork City 0. I think that's game set and match to the candy stripes. Yep, delighted. I wouldn't actually, I wouldn't, actually thought it was Jamie that got it, but it was Tiernan. They've got the same haircut. <laughs> but uh, no, delighted for delighted, delighted for the, the team and delighted for Tiernan. Brilliant, brilliant. I think just seen from that. the replay, Ben, ben Doherty, was all the work of Ben Doherty, yeah. Sean, yeah. Just thought he'd lost it there, but he's, he's slow. Ah, uh, Burnham. It was Tiernan McGinty, and it was actually Keane Coleman who had come off last. Keane Coleman could do nothing but prevent it from entering his own net. Yeah. But the goal should be accredited to young McGinty. Yeah, I think it will. Great he's way to... that. They have deserved that. They have deserved that. They've been better in the second half. Much great better in the second half. Great way to make your senior debut, Sean. Yeah, they've been... I think I says, Cork, you know, Cork have been decent tonight. I just think... When Derry have upped their game a wee bit, they've struggled a wee bit and probably lacked a wee bit of character to stay with them. You know, but they'll be, be fussed in, heading on the road. So right on, 95 minutes, David Dunn brings proceedings to a close here at the Brandywell. Derry City taking the lead in stoppage time of the first half, thanks to a Jamie McGonagall header. Rory Higgins came out in the second half, Derry City with a bit more impetus and a bit more striking force saw their just rewards in the 90th minute when young Tiernan McGinty, who came on as a second half sub, managed to squirm the ball in beyond the path of Jimmy Corgan to make it 2-0. And that's the way it's finished here at the Brandywell, Derry City 2, Cork City 0.